attack we didn't action. Forget this time. <laughs> yeah. I think it just like uh, double attack action. Uh, I'm going Maybe. to um, reap some wheat. <laughs> Sounds like a cereal cereal slogan. Reap some wheat today. Yeah, I'm going to reap. Have with the glass that's what you do with a scythe. And then I'm going to move 10 feet forward. And I'm going to use my two that sorcery points that I have left now to quicken a booming blade cantrip and make an attack action. With, with the, the scythe? With the scythe to attack Okay, the, well, I can, do, I can do this for you. Boom. You're the only thing visible on that side. You're literally the only thing visible there. All right, so. And then I'm going to move another 10 feet forward. You know, we're so close. You're one hit away. That's not your 120 feet. You're, you're one last sliver of the siphon. Uh, ah, so close. I'm gonna shout back, Get over here! <laughs> it's just... Okay. Okay. Abigail's 10 HP. That's totally fine. You know what? Totally fine. Now, I tell you, Kelly, she can cast or vitality on herself. So that's uh, <laughs> that's what she does for eight. Not gonna save her in any way, shape, or form, but you know, makes her feel better. Hmm. 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 Well. Well. I think that's honestly her turn. That's really that's really it. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, Varric is going to move 30 feet into the light. Das light. In doing so, he provokes an attack of opportunity though. Yeah, one plus five. <laughs> Barak is destined to die, guys. Just, just let him die. I can't just, save you. Just let him die. He's, he's, yeah, he's, uh, that's yeah, seventy six. So. No, it just says two points below the the max HP of him. No. No. Also, I realized I totally been forgetting this, so that's really bad. Uh, Abigail and Varric have advantage on all like magic based saves, including magic damage. So they actually should have had advantage. So, well, Abigail's been rolling with advantage, but crap baskets. Uh, so let's you see. You should that's, get him back um... up off the ground just for free, though. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, of course, of course, of course. So, so let me just compute this. But also, um, uh, for 18 plus 23, 30, 36, 46, 2, so 53. Ah, uh, so close yet so far. Varric has 48 hit points. It does 53 damage. So he's down by 5. He's unconscious nonetheless. So he doesn't move at all. Mm -hmm. uh, Would he technically have moved 5 feet? Uh, oh gosh, that's a really good... That's always a big kicker for that. Um... I would say because he's hesitant about actually not walking to a field of death, no. Fair enough. Bum, 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 bum. Amelia, it is your turn. You guys are almost out. The exit's right there. You guys just got, like, you know, the boss in the way. Well, I'm just going to try to fumble my way towards the light. No, you guys don't see the light yet. You guys just see the golden. You um, fumble into yeah. Abigail. Fumble 
There's really nothing I can do for Abigail because everything I have requires sight. Darkness is the most powerful spell. There you go, end your turn there, then? I guess so. Very well. Wise! Crash, were you listening to Iron Maiden when you made these encounters? No. Never mind. No. Wise? Oh, I don't know. I've been thinking for ages and I just don't know. Um, you guys could just, like, do nothing. That is always true. That's what I think I'm going to do. Well, the exit's over the there. We, don't have, we have to go that way. Yeah, but it's blocking the way is the thing. And I think we get damage if we touch it, don't we? Or it's like attack of opportunity or something, so... Well, I can only do one attack of opportunity. Yeah, you can't move. Basically. Okay. Yeah, just go into the wheat, lol. Just go around. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll survive it. It's fine. Oh, actually, I think about it. Do I know roughly how far away it is? What, the, the creature? Yeah. It's right next to you. Oh, shit. In front of me. And it's too big for me to sort of wedge myself around, isn't it? So. I mean, considering how if you un wrong you wrongfully wedge yourself, you touch the wheat, I would say yes. I'm just trying to think: is it worth taking like half my damage? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna wait it out. I'm gonna wait it out. Uh, what a wise action! Now it could kill Barrick. <laughs> Or at least facilitate the process. But you it's going to move. So let's see here. Let me just um reveal area by There you go. And then we uh darken. There we go. Ah. Uh, so, congratulations. It has moved away from Aminius, too. Second point. Oh, wait. Wait, shit. It needs to um, do us. I'm going to forget to do us with some saves. What is your spell save, DC Aminius? It is 17. It is no longer affected by Phantasmal Killer. Although, again, I've been forgetting to do it for like the past like three turns, so it might have succeeded way earlier. <laughs> Does Phantasmal Killer do damage? If you fail, yes. So Is if you want to roll me like... Finish? No, it's like every time you fail. So just roll me out. We'll assume it must have failed the previous like two, three rounds. So that's like... Uh, twelve. Roll me out 12d10. Because I believe it's 4d10 psychic damage per time it fails. So roll me out 12d10. 70. Not so New spell throw with... Wow. New spells are always confusing. Uh, you hear a clang next to you, Ward. Similar to the sound of your, like when you you and Varric before put scythes, like dug them into the ground. Similar to the vision where the guy put the thing in the ground, like the bottom of the scythe. You hear that from near you amidst the wheat. You did not get attacked, though. Sandra, it is your turn. You can now see. Congratulations. <sighs> All right. You move. You're also muted. I didn't notice that. <laughs> I figured there's a reason. Uh, I was talking to myself for like a minute. Anyways, um, is she able to find on him? Like one of his healing syringes, preferably not the super good ones. Wow. What? Wow. I wanted to get up. I don't want to waste like really good resources. Roll me your medicine. My medicine. Because li yeah, because literally they're all vials filled of red liquid. You have no fucking yeah. You have no fucking clue <laughs> no which fun. one's which. Uh. Da, 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 da. She has no idea how much healing kit building. You know what? Fuck it. She's not the healer. Um. <laughs> So that, I think that's 35 is her full movement over there. So I was like back here. It was either there or like one square before. Um, 
she is just going to dash to get over to there, which feels like a little bit of a waste of a dash, but whatever. Um, and chill at the edge of darkness for everyone else to accompany her, I suppose. Abigail will remember that. She's not the fucking healer and she doesn't want to use a good spell. Fuck you. Abigail will remember that.